What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Today I'm gonna to be letting you guys know everything there is to know regarding the Passat, and that's including mods and things that I do wanna to do to the car pretty soon. And just a heads up, if I do sound kinda of, ugh, it's not because I'm getting sick or anything, it's just my allergies have been killing me. I woke up sneezing and sniffling and just feeling like crap. So just a heads up so you guys don't think I'm getting sick, it's just allergies are bad out here, but let's go ahead and get into the video. So here she is guys, the Passat. You guys all know the Passat, the beautiful 2004 b5 volkswagen passat you guys have seen her in videos you guys have seen her on instagram facebook twitter um it's a very nice car i actually really do love it i love it a lot more than i thought i would um as you can see it's in a beautiful color of gray and i've seen these cars in white black i think they also have one in like a dark blue but um gray so far is my favorite color that i've seen it in and um, i really like it it's a very nice color kind of neutral but it stands out at the same time. I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that. First mod is the grill. This used to be chrome. I actually did a video of me plastic dipping it. And um, here it is uh, a couple months later. And it still looks very nice, very cool. Um, this alone makes the car stand out because not a lot of people are car enthusiasts. And so whenever they get their car, they pretty much just leave it how they get it. And so I've actually seen a few other Passats on the road and this is the only one that has a black grill. So. That alone makes it stand out. Um, same old headlights. I've kind of thought about maybe doing something with the headlights, but um, there's not a lot of love in the aftermarket for this car. So it's hard to find aftermarket headlights. Um, if I was to do something, I actually kind of looked into it. There's this place where you send your headlights in and they can do whatever you want to them. They can uh, install like HID uh, DRLs and stuff like that. And I kind of thought about doing that, but you know, I couldn't run with no headlights. So that might not happen. Coming over here to the side, here's the wheels. These um, these are aftermarket wheels, but they actually came on the car whenever we got them. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, but they were actually uh, alloy. They were like silver. And I don't really like chrome wheels, alloy wheels, silver wheels. Um, I actually, they're black now, if you can see. But I plasti dipped them to begin with, and it looked cool. But the thing with plastic dip is it gets dirty like very quickly like it's just a magnet for dust and dirt so these pretty much stayed dirty like all the time and then over time like the dip just started to peel off and then i re-dipped it same thing got really dirty started to peel so i finally just said f it i bought some wheel paint and some clear coat and i painted them and they look a lot better they look a lot cleaner um by no means are they perfect but they work for now and i've actually looked into getting some new wheels for the car um I think I finally found a good pair that I'd like to get for a decent price. It's just a matter of actually pulling the trigger, which I might do sometime in a couple months. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. To come around to the back side, I've done a couple things back here. Right here, you can see I have tinted the tail lights, which look a look, which make it look a hundred times better. Uh, I haven't seen any other Passats with the tinted tail lights. And in my last video you will have seen I got some exhaust work done. Nothing huge, they just did a resonator delete and a muffler delete and then they straight piped it. Let me go ahead and give you guys a cold start right now. So uh, she sounds so mean, so aggressive now, and I couldn't complain about it. I actually, I absolutely love it. Coming around to this side, nothing much has changed either. Just the wheels, that's about it. Um, I actually thought about maybe tinting the side markers on the car. Something I thought about doing, I just actually haven't gotten around to doing it. So that's about it. Oh, window tint. The car is not tinted at all. It's like we're driving around in a fishbowl. I definitely need to get her tinted pretty soon, especially here in Texas, because it's freaking hot 24 seven, no matter where you go, no matter what you do. So um, yeah, gonna need to get her tinted pretty soon. That might actually happen in the next like couple weeks. I just need to call around to some places and get some quotes, see how much they charge, and then go and get it done. All right, going to the inside of the Passat. Honestly, nothing has really changed in here. Let's go ahead and sit down real quick. Ugh. The gauge cluster is something I would like to change. Um, I mean, I guess it's not a big change. It's just that the dash actually lights up blue. 
and um, I think it'd be pretty cool if they lit up white because white is more of like a neutral color um, and I think it would just make it look a little bit better and then the needles of course light up red but I would keep it that way and um, I've looked up videos on how to do it and you got to pretty much take the whole dashboard apart to get the uh, instrument cluster out and then you got to pretty much take the whole instrument cluster apart and mess around with the circuit board and take off the LEDs off the circuit board and that's something I definitely do not want to get my hands on because I'm like 100% sure I would mess it up big time so um, that's something that I'd like to do but don't know if it's gonna happen uh, steering wheel is just a basic steering wheel the Volkswagen logo is fading I would like to get a uh, newer steering wheel and maybe kind of retrofit it but like I said that's something that I pretty much would want to get my hands on because I could see blowing the airbag up and killing myself so um, that's something I'd like to do but might leave it to the professionals Right over here, I still have not installed an aftermarket stereo. I actually bought one, if you guys remember in the video where we bought the car and I showed it to you guys. But that was like the $20 cheap Walmart stereo and I really didn't want a single DIN. I've been thinking about getting like a double DIN or something, something nicer, something that looks better. So um, might be changing that up in a couple days. I also replaced these lights with LEDs. I actually bought a whole LED conversion kit, but the company that sent it, uh, they said the bulbs would fit the car and these were the only two bulbs that fit as far as like the vanity lights and um, the other lights out there yeah those those didn't fit uh, they were supposed to send lights for these the vanity lights the lights back here the glove box light the light for the trunk and the lights that go into the doors but yeah these are the only ones that actually worked and fit so um, change that up I don't use the uh, little uh, tree air freshener uh, I just really don't like driving and it just dangles everywhere. It gets very distracting. I like to use something that's a little bit more low-key. So um, I've been using these. These are vent wraps. Um, they're not very complicated. They're just, they literally just slip onto your vent. And um, they actually work pretty, pretty good. I actually like them. Um, yeah, nothing much has really changed. And the glove box, very clean. I really don't like to keep it clutter. I just have a, a tripod for filming. A, a suction cup phone mount. For whenever I'm recording while driving in the center console not a lot is in here I just have this cassette adapter that lets me play music from my phone and then I also have uh, a microphone for whenever I'm driving so you guys don't hear all the road noise so let's just go ahead and put this stuff back in here let's go around to the back seats like I said nothing much has really changed just got car seats which yeah if you're into cars you know how having car seats feels it's not the best feeling in the world you know i'm not a huge fan of it but oh well what can you do at least there's plenty of space in this car so um, yeah i really like this car i really love it let me just grab the key so i don't lock myself out um i've done a couple things to it like you guys have seen a few things few cosmetic changes nothing performance wise yet um, cause those can get pretty expensive and I'm not a billionaire, so, <laughs> but yeah, I made a few changes to the car, a few mods, it looks very nice. I like it. It stands out from the other Passat. It looks a lot better than any of the other Passats that I've seen. Just the wheels, the tinted taillights, that exhaust right there just sets it apart from anything else that you'll see Passat wise. So it looks very nice. Like I said, new wheels coming soon, eventually. All right guys, be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Passat so far. Let me know any mods that you guys would like to see done to the car, any changes that you guys think I should make. And um, if it sounds good, you never know, I might actually end up doing it. Um, I like it, like I said, I've done a few mods here and there, a few budget friendly mods that aren't super expensive and she looks way better than when she got her, than when we got her. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know with a big thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week. And until my next video, take care and be safe. Peace.